not the friendliest pixies I've met. They were put here to protect the Fable Sphere from intruders. Meaning you. Oh, unicorns! We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one. Exciting, isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. Care to elaborate? Rather not. Go, go. It's over. No, it's not. There's more. Another wolf behind you. Ignore him. He always lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't, when they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything! Not one thing! And besides, watch out! Wolves! This will be interesting. Right, let's get to it. Yellow bean. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? Hmm? A bald farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Help! Wolves! Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the red bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Wolves! Run! Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody! Three times over! Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Or more precisely, refers us the truth. Mm hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each, and Goldilocks, of course. Then Longlocks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah, fine. Let's get to work. Incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once, that sort of thing. Stole the pea out from under the princess. Who sleeps to this day, I think. Hey ya!
So? Got the bean, but Longlocks. Hmm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Detlaf was a tool, and only a tool. Too bad he didn't know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. To use him. Was that your plan from the start? No. At first I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Detlove. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick, and gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance, but he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley, I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? What happened then? We talked, then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. I truly enjoyed it at first, but only at first. He did not love like a man, but like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally, wildly. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard pressed, let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared. Yes. There is no other way. Let's just be friends, or... I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him, and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned, or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Got a history with Detloff now. So this meeting will be different. Not afraid? I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. Faster. <laughs> we love the wisp. I think it's got something to show us. Careful. It's not to be trusted. I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. But the dead, what brings you? Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? Given one for safekeeping, but. Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Ah, uh, right there, the threats. Siana to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, Little Red Riding Hood's 
popped her clogs. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Good <laughs> now, what's at the bottom of the well? She and the hunter, which means we can't play. And I'm under no obligation to talk to you, not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sort of. Hmm. Wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. It's a dog's life, I tell you. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. A piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. All right, time to jump in the well. Break a leg. Any luck? Yep. Look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. You again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if Little Red Riding Hood is not with you. Not a problem. Sienna can take her place. What? <sighs> Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Granddaughter, come closer, sweetie. But, Grandmama, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. The better to embrace you with, my dear. And, Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Hey? The better to eat you with, my dear! Come on! Joss said about the red bean. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. 
Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, the corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Well then, one step closer to our goal. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me, after they cast me out? Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They had escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Toussaint, I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark, from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me, or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader. Of the whole ragged band. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come.
bad witcher huffed and puffed, and look, got a bean. It cannot be. What cannot be? You actually have a sense of humor. <laughs> Why so shocked? Well, when you arrived, all you did was pout and mumble things in that graffily monotone. And now this. A jest. And a good one at that. But here we are chatting away when there's work to do. The beans won't plant themselves, you know. <laughs>